everybody. Hello, Real Talkers. I'm here in Miami, Florida for the JLI um, Jewish, Jewish National Retreat. And I have the pleasure of having here four amazing, amazing people. We're here tonight because part of the JLI Retreat, they designated today and this evening to the challenging situation and tragedy that happened to our community and the Champlain Towers collapse. And we're here tonight to show respect and honor those that were lost, but at the same time honor those that lost their loved ones that came with us tonight. We have my dear friend, Martin Langesveld, who unfortunately lost his beautiful sister, Nicole. I didn't get to know her, but from what I've seen and heard and what I heard Martin talk about, an amazing soul, an amazing human being, and he has uh, promised to continue her legacy with all that he does going forward. We have Colonel Golan Vachir from the Israeli Search and Rescue Team. That's what we call him here. I don't know what they call him in Israel, but here he is a legend and a hero to all of us. He came here with his team, and they didn't get to talk too much about what he did, but the guys that were on the Search and Rescue, the American side, had a lot of respect, but they also had a lot of, they were in a little bit of apprehension. Who are these superheroes from Israel that are coming? And when they saw the way that Golan operated, it was absolutely incredible. You're talking about 23 hours a day, take an hour break, he'd take his shoes off, put them next to his bed. An hour later, he was back on the pile, and he didn't stop. And his dedication and his team's dedication really gave a lot of people hope and inspiration and made sure that no st stone unturned would take place without doing whatever was possible to find an any one of the people's loved ones. And then we have Mr. Spiegel here, Kevin, who has became a very dear friend over this course these last 14 months, who lost his dear wife, Yehudit, Judith, who also we heard a lot about, shared some stories, an amazing person, a dedicated person, a loving person, and as he calls her, the leader of their family. So they each came here tonight to just to be here, to share some words, but really just to thank the community and the community to see who these people are and make, make it real for those that don't live in Miami and just saw the videos of this unfortunate tragedy. If you can just tell us a little bit about your sister and about the assistance you, gave, you got and this beautiful friendship that was born. I got involved with this community in a very unfortunate and horrific way. 14 months ago on June 24th, 98 beautiful, beautiful souls were taken from us. And the three people next to me, I had no idea they even existed in this world. And now, 14 months later, I can call them family you know, from all parts of the world. We had Colonel Golan working on the field every day when he came with his team from Israel is when all of us felt hope. When, when you came here is when we had faith. And you guys did not let me fall on my knees. And off the field, we have Rabbi Lipsker and his father and the shul and the beautiful community organization that they continue to run. and. We became brothers after this, and throughout this entire tragedy, we came to realize what, who stands behind this community, and it's a family who takes in people from all religions, backgrounds, beliefs, everyone, and they're truly there to help day in, day out, no matter the time of day, and there are really no words to explain how you continue to help us in everything you did for us. I'm Kevin Spiegel. I'm actually a hospital administrator by trade. I'm the husband of Judith Ann Spiegel, who did pass away, was killed in the Surfside Towers. I, as well, have not met these uh, gentlemen uh, before. Um, but one of the things that was very, very special is that the Jewish community really came together, but it was really the IDF, the Home Front Command, the search and rescue, the technology, and things that are not available here in the United States that was able to be brought here, um, and this operation and the respect for all the victims and the education and the science behind finding each person um, was unbelievable. It was a, a learning experience for the United States search and rescue teams that worked hand in hand with 
um, Colonel Golan Vach and, and the whole Home Front Command. Um, one of the special things the Spiegel family did was we went to Israel to come back and to actually give thanks to the Surfside IDF Home Front Command team. Um, but with all of my Israeli relatives, and hopefully they're seeing this right now, um, you know, we were on a lot of the Israeli channels and, and they really wanted to be here but just couldn't. So going there to honor them, to honor the IDF team, and to bring the Spiegels as well as the mayor from Ball Harbor, I think was a very special thing. The, the JLI is really bringing educational components to the Jewish community um, throughout the United States. So to make this an integral part, I think is a very, very significant thing to do. I'm pretty embarrassed to, to hear all, the, all these compliments because um, I feel that we've done our job. Um, the Israeli team has deployed dozens of times um, in the past is 40 years and Surfside Miami was the 26th delegation that we had but we had a, um, a Jewish aspect in this tragedy that that turned this this operation to something very personal to me and first of all when I saw Rabbi Lipsker, and I heard his personal story, how did he make decision makers to, uh, to bring us here, and he accompanies us every day since, not only us, but also the families. It is very hard to say that, but I know that the tragedy has started a new life, difficult life, but um, with a new mission, with a new horizon for you, for all of you, and I am so honored to be part of this Jewish circle. And I think that this event uh, symbolized how strong is the Jewish nation is. And today, to be part of the circle of the Jewish communities and the state of Israel, and this event symbolized this connection so well, and that it's a, it's a great opportunity to mention. I don't think I have anything else to say. You guys are an inspiration, each one of you in your own way. Good luck, keep on inspiring us, keep on being together, being tight with each other and sharing your light to the world. Thank you so much.